what was it? Prophet Muhammad marrying, was it a nine-year-old girl? Peace be upon him, peace be upon him. Was she yes. a nine-year-old girl at the time? Uh, what, when they got married? Yes. And when did they have sex? Uh, uh, so, hey, what's your language? Uh, they got married at six years old and they consummated the marriage at nine. So he married some a six-year-old and consummated the marriage at age nine. Do you think that that's wrong? In today's day and age, or in, uh, back, back in the day. So back in the day, it was okay. Why? Why, why, why was it okay back in the day, but not now? Um, because back in the day, people used to mature faster because there was no so social media. Okay, dude. So just, now, we yeah. now we have an understanding here. So we have, you're a Muslim who thinks it's okay that you're a parent scumbag prophet married a goddamn six-year-old. Okay? Listen, listen, be respectful, be respectful. No, not I'm not going to be respectful, okay? No, no peace be upon him, okay? Death be upon him. Wow. That loser, wow. okay? Anyone that marries wow. a six-year-old and then has sex with a nine-year-old child is a scumbag, in my opinion. I don't care if they're a prophet or not. That's irrelevant to me. So you're a Muslim who follows a prophet who rapes children, and so now you're over here arguing that it's okay for a four-year-old to fuck a 16-year-old child. You've lost it, my friend. Perfect, perfect. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, could you belief, repeat that then? Because it was kind of muffled and I only heard some of it. So what makes me a beta? Your whole belief system comes from women. So naturally, you're going to be more emotional, which makes you a beta male. Um, okay. Uh, w wait, why do you think that my whole worldview comes from women? Is, is it like exclusively women who believe the things that I believe? It's usually women who believe things that aren't factual such as racism and um, homophobia and all these things. Men usually don't care about these things because they have, you know, more important things to care about, such as providing for their family and protecting their family. Well, I have a family and I provide for my family and I protect my family and I also care about uh, preventing racism and bigotry. Yes, but, but you still think like a woman. I don't understand how I think like a woman. All of my positions that I hold are based on uh, rational conclusions, usually that are empirically demonstrated. So would you say that um, racism, you can prove racism exists? Well, what kind of racism are you talking about? Do you mean systemic racism or do you mean interpersonal racism? Any, any sort of racism. Can you prove it? Can I prove that racism exists? Y yes? <laughs> Show me, please. Okay, so if you need an example of interpersonal racism, there are multiple different commentators that you can listen to. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't be very hard to search up a video of like a black kid getting called the N word somewhere at school. Like that happens I mean, all the time. As yeah, far but that's not racism. Wait, black people being called the N word, that's not interpersonal racism? It's not because black people say it to black people all the time. So now what's happening is you're judging white people solely based on their race for saying the word that black people say all the time. I'm so not judging them racist. on their race. No, it would be if anybody is insultingly referring to another person or a black person as the N-word, even if they themselves were black, then yes, that would be racist. So are you saying that black people who use this word all the time are also racist? I'm not saying just using the word necessitates you being racist. There's two different ways that you can use the word. Some people will use it with a soft A to mean like brother or homie. I don't think that that makes you racist. I do think, however, that if you are a black person or an Asian person or a white person, you walk up to a black guy and you say that you're a stupid, dirty N-word, that, uh, yeah, that's probably racist. Yeah, I agree, but how often does it happen? Not very often. And even if it does, you can't really blame the white person because black people use, you know, use that sort of language in their music all the time. I mean, I'm not blaming this on Elon Musk because Elon Musk didn't really change anything with Twitter. But once he took over Twitter, you can read about the massive uptick that there was of people saying the N word on Twitter. Like, yes, people obviously still use this word and they also use it derogatorily. If you don't want people to use the word, then stop using it. So it's black people's fault because black people are the ones who are still using that word and keeping it in. You're, you know, you're pivoting. Now you're moving the goalpost, even if it is black people's fault. You're the one that said it's not racist. I'm the one that said even if a black person calls another black person a dirty, stupid N-word, that is racist. So you said first you said oh. it didn't exist. Now I'm explaining how it actually does exist in interpersonal relationships, at least. And then you said, well, black people are doing it. I don't care who's doing it. I'm simply explaining that by calling somebody the N-word in a derogatory manner, that is racist. So are you saying that Lil Wayne is racist? Y yes, it's racist to use the N-word derogatorily. So, so Lil Wayne is racist. Excuse me? 
do you know who Lil Wayne is? Lil Wayne or Future or Drake or any of these rappers who use the word did all you, the time. Did you not hear what I, I already just said? That using the word does not necessitate racism. If you are a rapper using the N-word with a soft A to talk about my brother or my homie or something like that, no, that's not using that word in a derogatory manner. However, if they were to say, I'm surrounded by all these stupid N-words, then yes, that would be derogatory, which would then be racist. Okay, let's be honest now, right? So regardless of the context that a white person says the N-word in, they will still be called racist. Regardless if they say it in a context to, for, you know, to the friend, I can guarantee you if a white person says the N-word in the same context as a black person, the white person will be called a racist and the black person will not. Do you agree? Um, if the white person says it in a non-derogatory way, they would still be accused of racism, but the black person yes. wouldn't? Um, yes. Probably, yeah. So, so what, what do you think about that? Um, I mean, it's a bit of an inconsistency for sure. I, I don't know where this is anything to do with my argument or anything that I've said. Like, yeah, people make the argument, for example, that because that was used derogatorily towards black people, that they themselves have kind of reappropriated the word. I do also agree, however, that if we are going to argue that that word in and of itself intrinsically is harmful, that nobody should be saying it, and that includes black people, that includes black rappers. I would agree with all that. I'm trying my best to be consistent when it comes to this type of thing. But again, none of this is proving your point. You said interpersonal racism doesn't exist. I gave you an example of where it does, and now you're trying to say, yeah, but it's the fault of the black people. Again, I don't care whose <laughs> fault it is. I don't care whose fault it is. I simply care about whether or not that terminology is racist, and I've given you now examples. So saying one word makes you racist now? I literally already said the opposite of that. I said that simply saying the N-word does not necessitate racism. For example, I don't think if somebody sits down and reads Tom Sawyer, that when they read the part that has the N-word, that they become a racist. No, I've already said this a billion times, that yeah, um, it, it's not just the word intrinsically, but it's using the word derogatorily. But you do, you do know that, you know, even if you do say it in a uh, derogatory way, that sometimes people say things in a mean way just simply because they hate you and has nothing to do with race. So if you annoy me, I will pick on the first thing that I know would annoy you. It doesn't make me a racist. I just want to annoy you because you annoy okay, me. Okay, but I don't, again, I don't care. Like, you could say that, well, when the person called that black kid the dirty, stupid N-word, well, he, he was not actually being racist. He was just trying to offend him. Like, okay, at that point, then you're trying to offend him by using racist terminology and being racist towards him. So I don't know what that proves. Hmm... Interesting. Interesting. So what would you say about the white people that get fired from the job every single day for supposedly black people calling them racist, even though they're not racist? Do you think that's fair? Wait, could you say that again? It sounded like you said black people getting fired every day. And so white people are getting fired every day from their job simply because black people are play playing up the race card for things that aren't even racist. What do you think about that? I have no idea where the fuck this is happening. Uh, this to me it's sounds like all no, no. This country. to me sounds like another straw man that you're going to kind of engage in. Like there have been times where um there was a girl that worked with Teen Vogue. She got fired for saying some joke about like Asian people when she was a child on Twitter, and I thought that that was absolutely fucking ridiculous. I made a whole video about how this is a real example of cancel culture and how this is going way too far, and the fact that people are losing their job over something like this is uh, just absurd. We would have to go based on a case-by-case -case basis, though. I mean, you're making it sound as if every time somebody gets fired, it's because they just made an innocent little joke that other people got offended by. How do we know? Yes. We would have to look at what they actually said. Did it? They just make an innocent little joke, or were they actually making, so or were they actually saying something legitimately racist? We would have to look well, at this. But one thing is for yeah, certain yeah. is that it's not happening every single day. And it's also not oh, just is. the fault of black people. In fact, usually the people behind cancel culture, the most extreme kind of cancel culture, are white people who are bored and desperate to try and make some kind of societal change. So they engage in this witch hunt behavior on Twitter. I do agree with that, that a lot of white people are facing white guilt. But even that, that's the fault of black people because they're trying to prove that they're not racist, which is something that no one can do. Wait, if a black person why are you blaming racist, this on black people? What does this have to do with yeah, black people? 
So you're saying if somebody reports another person for saying the N-word and then they get fired from their job, that's the fault of a black person, even if the person that reported them originally was a white person? Yes. Can you explain? Because the black person wouldn't have done the same thing if a black person has <laughs> said the exact same what? thing. The same exact so because the, hypothetically the black person may have done the same thing, it's the fault of the black person? Yes. Yeah. Are you here to just troll me? No, I'm not trolling. I'm, I'm being dead serious. Okay, because this it's just funny that you come day. on here and say there's that racism doesn't exist, and now you're arguably making a racist argument. You're saying that any time white people face repercussions for saying something racist, that it's just the fault of black people, even if black people had nothing to do with getting that person fired. They did, because they're the one who snitched on them. They're the one who told them. How do you know this? I just explained that a lot of people behind cancel culture are white teenagers and young adults on Twitter who are desperate to do something to make themselves feel like they're participating in societal change. But why are they doing that? They're doing that to impress black people. I don't know if they're doing it to impress black people. I think a lot of them, I mean, in these progressive spaces in general, there's a lot of gatekeeping behavior. And again, progressive spaces are overwhelmingly white. Yes, they are. Because the reason for that is, I mean, first of all, majority of America, I think 65% of Americans are white. So the overwhelming majority are going to be white people. And black people are too busy, you know, being in the hood and, you know, doing, doing what they're doing. You are definitely here to troll me. I, I just, I don't want to believe that you're actually a real person. I am a real person. What do you mean? I mean, it's true, right? I yeah, mean, no, black people with... are busy being in the hood? What the fuck? Like, the, there are disproportionate amounts of black people that live in poverty, but no, black people just on account of them being black are not just hanging out in the hood. Like, why are you on here arguing that there's no such thing as racism, but now you're engaging in racist stereotypes? Yeah, but would you agree that majority of black people live in um, undeveloped areas? I don't know if the majority of black people do, but I do know that a disproportionate amount of black people do. So wouldn't that mean that automatically a lot of them are going to be, you know, too busy living real life instead of being on a discord and then talking about liberal... Um, I mean, most everybody problem. has a smartphone, so even if somebody was hypothetically living in, quote, the hood, they would probably still have a smartphone and still have the ability to, like, access Twitter. But this is just derailing okay. at this point. Like, what is your overall point here? You say I'm being female-minded. You're the one making up scary stories to freak yourself out. Again, I'm the one who is being consistent when it comes to the use of the N-word and cancel culture. Would you treat a black person who says the N-word the same as you would treat a white person? Be, be completely honest. Uh, it would depend on how they used the word. No, if a black person came on and just said, like, what's up, my N-words, with a soft A, no, I probably wouldn't care. If a white person did, well, I probably person wouldn't care either. <laughs> like, at the end I, of the day, though, it's you're about whether or not you're, you're using it in a derogatory manner. You're lying. I don't believe you. It's impossible. Okay. You know, you know the world that we're living in today. If a white person walks in, into work and says, what's up, my niggas, you know he would absolutely get fired from his job and, you know, lose his money. Probably I don't get know. You asked me what I days. would do. You asked me what I would think. You didn't say what do you think yes. the general response would be. Yes, I did. You're right. So what would the general response be for a white person walking into a... I mean, you just said it. Do you, do you think that I'm going to, like, start freaking out and melting down into a puddle of soy? <laughs> probably. <laughs> You're not making any sense right now. And when you come on here and claim that I get all my ideas from women and that makes me a beta, like you're being a beta bitch right now. You have no evidence for anything. You're just kind of connecting dots randomly. And again, you're telling yourself scary stories to freak yourself out. How am I, how do I have no evidence that racism doesn't exist? You haven't asked me for any evidence. Wait, you asked me if there's evidence that interpersonal racism exists. I said yes. And then we got yep. on this big talk about saying the N-word. And then you said, yeah, but anytime somebody gets fired for saying the N-word, even if it was a white person who reported them, it's actually the fault of the black people because that white person was probably trying to impress black people or something. Uh, not really, but okay. So do you want to move on to the next point then where you think that I'm being womanly minded yes. and we'll see who really is womanly minded at the end of it? Um, I mean, you are womanly minded, but yeah, let's move on. Um. I've got, I've got um, a couple of topics that we can speak about. Number one, um, racism doesn't exist. You can speak about that. You can speak about how homosexuality is immoral. 
we can speak about um, how it's okay for men to be uh, polyamorous but not okay for women. Um, the age gap is a myth, so there's no such thing as oh, you have to be 21 to be with an 18 year old, or whatever. You can be 40 years old and be with a 16 year old. So, you think if you could be, you could be 40, um, wait, 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 you think if you could be, so you think it would be okay for a 40 year old to be with a 16 year old sexually? Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll I mean, hear you so, out on I mean, this. Okay, so 60, do you want to pick a topic now or do you want me to carry on reading? Just give me your brief position on that and we'll see where it goes. All right, so uh, 16 year olds can join the army, right? So, how can a 16 year old not consent to sex? This is insane to me. I mean, 14 year olds are having sex in the bush, but you're telling me they can't get in, get in a marriage where both. So what you're get, but hold on, you're saying marriage. that be, you're saying that because you feel that there's inconsistencies with the law, which you might be right, that it somehow makes it morally okay for a 40 year old man to have sex with a 16 year old girl. Inconsistencies no, okay in because... the law does not mean that you can just run around free for all having sex with legal, legally recognized minors. If anything, fine. Make it so that you have to be 18 to enlist in the military. There you go. Yeah, but that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying because there's inconsistencies that makes it fine. It makes it fine because it's fine. A 16-year-old can consent to sex. We so why, that, why right? do you feel that that's fine? Because you already probably know what I'm going to say, right? Is that at 16, although you have gone, I guess females have gone through a good portion of puberty at that point, they are still in a developmental uh, position. They're still developing physically and mentally. And then even furthermore, if you're with an older adult and you're still a legally recognized minor with no sexual experience, then that opens the door for all kinds of grooming and abuse. So, yeah, but now you're trying to make the, the claim that because you're marrying a woman with no sexual experience, you're going to abuse her. That's not true. No, I'm, I didn't. I'm, I said I'm, because she's young... She's still developing and she's immature. That makes it easier to manipulate and abuse a person like that. But we're always developing. Everyone's developing. You don't stop developing at a certain age. I know. So what's your point? But because you're, you haven't fully even finished puberty at the age of 16. Mm, not really. Like you're, you're, still, you're still in the phase of exiting puberty there, which means that... You actually <laughs> Like that they're still kind of transitioning from a child, right? Women actually hit puberty or start hitting puberty between the ages of 8 to 12. So within four years, I'm pretty sure they will be quite full. I mean, think about when you were 16. If you were 16 and you had sex with a 35-year-old, 40-year-old, what would that, would that be? What would that be, you know, grape? What would that be? Let me see what I can find about the age of 16. Oh, you're looking for sources because you lack common sense, like the majority of liberals. So your version of common sense right now is that a full-grown man having sex with a child is acceptable. So I wouldn't be very quick to bring that up, okay? <laughs> I mean, the 16-year-old's not really a child. Well, uh, go ahead. So let's see. Females, da 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 da, -da. Okay, puberty usually starts between ages 9 and 11. Hmm. 12, 13, stage five usually happens around age 15, breasts reach and, approximate and adult fine? size, periods become regular, so I mean, this one thing, let's see, though breasts can continue to change through age 18, so yeah, you're, you're with a woman or with a girl who is not even fully developed. At the age of 16, I mean, at the age of 15, she's still developing. And this developing, this developmental stage is going to last into her being 18, possibly. And that's just the physical changes, the actual physical changes. We're not even talking about the mental changes. We so, like, I would want to know, like, if, if this 40-year-old man was a regular guy who was attracted to females, why would he want to be with somebody who doesn't even have fully developed breasts. Like, think of what that sounds like. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. So purity, youth, and fertility. That's the main things that men look for in women. There's actually a study that has been conducted that 
majority of men prefer women, women between the ages of 18 and 24. Right? A majority of women, I think, prefer men over the age of about... Actually, sorry, there's another study that says men hit their peak, according to women's preferences, around 50 years old. So men and women like different things, right? So women like older men, men like younger women. A woman's peak that reproductive means... years are between the late teens and late 20s. So why couldn't this person, if they're interested in uh, uh, fertility, why couldn't they go out with a 24-year-old adult woman? Because the looks start fading away around the, the late 20s. Wait. No, it doesn't. No, they don't. So now you're saying that not only is this... Hold on, wait. You said the reason that a 40-year-old man might want to be with a girl who hasn't even finished puberty yet is because of fertility. But I'm explaining to you that actually she is just as fertile at the age of 20, 21 upwards when she has actually reached an adult age. And you're saying no because now her looks start to fade? What it yeah, sounds like I, you're I, describing I, I, right now is somebody who's attracted to a uh, prepubescent girl or a mid-puber I mean, uh, a girl only going through puberty. Which, what is that? Isn't that a hebophile? Is that what it's called? I, I didn't only say fertility. I said youth, beauty, and fertility, right? So these three things. So you only picked one one out. Your beauty starts to fade away after the age of 26. Hepophilia is usually an inherited... Wait. <laughs> Hold on. That's not the right thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so like I said, you look start to fade away after the age of 26, 27, according to uh, a study that I can send you if you need it. What's it called, chat? I thought it was hebophilia, but that's a blood clot disorder. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's ebophilia is when an older adult is sexually attracted to post-pubescent teenagers, usually those in the age range 14, 15 through 19. I don't know if I would call it, consider 19 still in that phase, but whatever. Adults with this attraction are so-called ebophiles. So it sounds like what that's what you're describing is somebody who is um attracted to a girl who's only just finishing up puberty mentally she's still developing and you're making the excuse yeah. that well she's most fertile but no she's not she is just as fertile at the age of 21 so why wouldn't you go after a 21 year old woman you said well um, her looks start to fade well what it sounds like then is that you're saying this hypothetical 40 year old man is attracted to a girl who is still only now going through puberty it sounds like you're talking actually, about a man who is attracted to a child I said men actually prefer women, women between the ages of 18 and 24. But the reason that men want younger women as well is because they can give them more babies, right? So if you marry a woman that's 35, how many babies she, can she give you? Did what, you say four, 35? Five? No one here said thir anything about 35. Yeah, I know. But I'm trying to explain to you that the younger the woman is, the more babies she can give you, right? So that's why another reason why men want younger women. And the looks tend to last more. If I marry a woman that's 28, 27, her looks are going to fade away after 10 years completely. But if you marry a woman that's 18, her looks are going to stay for 20 years. Most teens at the age of 16 are developing the ability to think abstractly, deal with several concepts at the same time, and imagine the future consequences of their actions. So we're talking about then people who, again, at the age of 16, are still developing the mental ability to actually weigh their future decisions. They're only then in that stage where they're starting to understand that and be able to think far more abstract about these issues. And you're saying it's acceptable for a 40-year-old man to have sex with somebody like that. How could that not be manipulative if now we know yeah, that it's quite – hold on. It's possible then that this 16-year-old girl has not fully developed mentally to the point where she can adequately make a decision such as, do I want to have sex with this 40-year-old man? Get married. I said get married earlier. So when you, once you get married, the father has to consent to your marriage and the father has to know who the husband is and has to agree with it. So there's a difference between having sex in a bush and getting married and starting a family. So they're two completely different things. I don't I care. Don't agree with sex. I, I don't care. What, either way, in my opinion, it's creepy. And any father that would sign off on their 16-year-old daughter marrying a fucking 40-year-old has problems. Have you ever left the West? Have you ever left the Western world and went to experience the East? No. I'm not surprised. I mean, 16 is absolutely normal, right? I mean, my grandma got married at 15. I know people that got married at 14. And you're talking about the 70s, 60s. You're talking right? about where? The Middle East right now? Yes. Yeah, I don't from. care. I don't care what's going on in some third world areas. Like, yeah, no fucking shit. 
that they go in and <laughs> marry children. I don't give a shit. Like, do we want to go look at Muslim? Co- hold on, Muslim countries. They'll marry. Won't they marry like twelve-year-old girls? Like, I, I don't care. Just if it happens somewhere else, doesn't make it therefore acceptable. The evidence we have, again, I'm the one being rational here. You're the one being female-minded, okay? Because rationally speaking, the brain is not fully developed at the age of 16. This girl does not have the ability to really fully think and process the type of decision involved when it comes to marrying an adult man who's significantly older than her. She doesn't have that ability yet. More so, even physically, she is not fully developed. That is wrong. You are setting stuff up for this person to be abused, and even more so, what the fuck is wrong with this 40-year-old man that he's attracted to a post-pubescent teenage girl who is still going through puberty? One second. And you know what post means? You just contradicted yourself. He said post, uh, post-pubescent, then he said she's still going through puberty. So you just contradicted yourself. Okay, post-pubescent in the sense that she's, go- she's gone through some of the more radical parts of puberty, but she is not fully finished with puberty. Where's the evidence for that? Have you got a study that says 16 year old? I just read it to you from healthline.com. What's it so I read this to you. Cognitive development ages 15 through 18 years. By age 16, most teens are developing the ability to think abstractly, deal with several concepts at the same time, and imagine the future consequences of their action. This type of thinking in a logical sequence continues to develop into adulthood. So we have that at the age of 16. And then, um, let me go back. See if I can get this back up here. Hold on. Um, where's the Healthline article? Um, shit. Here it is. Navigating puberty, the tamer state, uh, the Tanner stages. Sorry. So females at the age of fifteen. Breasts reach approximate adult size and shape, though breasts can continue to change through age 18. So I said at 15, your breasts reach uh, their size. Basically. But they're still developing, said. most likely. And then even if they were, no. even if they were fully developed at, physically, uh, that still doesn't take away from the fact that mentally they are not finished developing. And they have not no, developed, no dep- and they have not developed no enough so that they are able to make uh, such massive decisions such as do i want to get married for the rest of my life to a man who's 30 years older than me but you never you never it's actually not 30 it's about 24 but you never fully finished uh developing mentally okay so now you're what you're doing is being weaselly now what you're doing is being weaselly in bad faith and you think you're trying to get me in a corner and you're you're failing and embarrassing yourself (laughs) obviously nobody is finished ever developing mentally however would we all be able to agree that the thinking capacity of a 10-year-old compared to a 22-year-old is probably a little different? Yeah, no shit. The 22-year-old is still mentally developing. However, at 22, they have developed mentally enough so that they are able to make gravi- uh, uh, they are able to make large decisions. They are, they are able to weigh the gravitas of getting married to a much older man, for example. They can do that. At age 16, I don't know if they could. Yes. It's questionable. Yes. But but the only thing you need to look at mentally is are they able to make the conscious decision uh, conscious conscious decision to consent into sex? That's the only thing that you need to look are at. Are you mentally. fucking stupid right now? You realize that people make the same exact argument to justify pedophilia, right? What's wrong? If, do you think if there's something wrong with a um like a thirty year old man having sex with a twelve year old? She's old enough to decide and make a conscious decision that she wants to have sex. She's not. How do you know? She's, She's just a robot. Wait, wait, she can decide what she wants. That's the problem, though. Yeah, no, she can. She could say, "I'm 12 and I don't care. I want to have sex." Come on, stop, stop being delusional now, right? Uh, That's not being delusional. The point of stop, shut the fuck up. The point of the matter here is that people can say they want things, but the 12 year old girl does not have the mental development to actually weigh the gravity of a decision like that. She thinks she knows what she wants. She thinks that she's able to consent to sexual activity. However, she doesn't understand the gravity and the weight of that decision because she has not mentally developed. That's why when you say, yes, well, well she's 16 and she's able to consciously make this decision, it's okay. You are just uh, completely incorrect because by that reasoning, you could justify having sex with virtually any age person so long as they have the conscious ability to say that they want to do it. Yes. 
yes, that's true. But no one has the uh, conscious ability to consent to sex apart from people who are above the age after they hit puberty. No, for, you know, yeah, twelve. Year old, they've sorry, already four, entered puberty. Yeah, they entered, right? But no four-year-old is can consent to sex, right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry for my language, but no four-year-old can consent to sex. But a sixteen-year-old, we all know, a six majority of sixteen-year-olds have lost their virginity in the Western world. I don't care. So we don't have a problem That's with, it, it, did they lose their virginity to another 16-year-old or to a 40-year-old man? <laughs> so there's other relevant? questions what, there involved. Relevant? But wait, no, That's you need relevant. to substantiate this better. Now you're trying to say, well, no, they can only, only if they can make this conscious decision after puberty. 12-year-old girls can make conscious decisions that they want to have sex. They can think that they want to have sex, okay? No, I, yes, no, I had a friend, for example, who told me that she lost her virginity at the age of 13 to an 18-year-old. She was able to consciously say, I want to have sex with this guy, even though she was 13. She wasn't able to consciously weigh the gravity of a decision like that. So, so what's wrong then so with a what's wrong then with a 25 year old marrying a 13 year old? The age. That's what's wrong with it. The age. 40 year old and 16 year old, you know, the age is different. So a 16 year old can consent to sex. That's very easy. Everyone knows why. That. Why can a sixteen-year-old consent to sex in your world, but a thirteen-year-old can't? You said they have to have make the they have to be able to make the conscious decision to consent. The thirteen-year-old could make a conscious decision. No, they can't. That's that's the thing. No, they can't. They're thirteen. If you're thirteen, like, like you just read, now a sixteen-year-old has finished puberty. A thirteen-year-old has barely started puberty within about one to two years. That's not true. Right? It says most females begin puberty around the the ages of nine to eleven. Yeah. So, so if she started puberty, puberty at nine, ago. she would already have been going through puberty now for several years. She can make a conscious decision. So what makes really. those different? What makes it different is the age. Why? Big... What's the what's unique about the age here? Stop playing stupid. You know there's a difference between a twelve year old and a sixteen. A sixteen year old in America can get your driver's license. At twelve, you cannot. Right. So if they trust you, maybe not twelve. Car, what about thirteen? Thirteen is still too young. That's one year, right? You're, you're literally losing it right now because suddenly you're realizing that you, you don't have any arguments as to what substantiates or differentiates these things. Men mentality. And 13-year-olds don't have the mentality to consent to sex. You said they need to be able to make a conscious decision, right? Yeah, yeah and a 13-year-old cannot make a conscious decision in most countries. No, that, <laughs> this is what you're not understanding. They can However, the conscious well, uh, decision that they are making is uninformed because they are only 13 and have not developed mentally enough so to weigh the gravity of that decision. Just like a 16-year-old can. However, she is not mentally developed enough so to weigh the gravity of that decision. So what mentally, makes these things uh, different? What you just said makes it different. What you said a 13-year-old is not informed, mentally informed, and mentally developed. Neither is a 16-year-old. We just I, read about that I teens at age 16 no. are not fully developed mentally. Okay, so do you know that in England, in the UK, 16-year-old is the age of consent to sex? Pivot. You're pivoting right now. You need to answer this no, question. Pivot. You need to answer this What's question, your... okay? Or forever I've be known as the fucking times. creepy pedo who needs to get Chris Hansen <laughs> called on his ass. Okay? I've answered it multiple times. No, you haven't. You they're said, different. well, at 16, they're able to consent, but at 13, they're not. Even though the evidence we have suggests that at 16, they're still not able to weigh the gravity of that decision. Yes, they can because they can join the army at 16. And that would be an inconsistency can... with the law. I don't think that 16-year-olds should be able to join the army either. I think they should. You're, you're, just, you're, you're not making any arguments anymore. I think you've reached peak female-mindedness right now. <laughs> You're I not mean, developed you mentally. Want... Are you developed mentally? Because it doesn't sound like it. You, you know what hurts me about you is that you, you used to be a conservative, right? And yeah, now and now look what happens to the conservatives. We got the, guy, the, the conservative over here calling me the beta and then arguing that a 40-year-old can fuck a 16-year-old girl. No, don't make it creepy, no? Yeah, I said marry. Don't make it creepy. <laughs> okay. I yes. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I forgot. Child marriage. Less creepy than child rape. There you go. What world are you living in where a 16 year old is a child, mate? It's on, it would beginning. be considered child rape or child marriage at the age of 16. Not in England. Cool. Legality doesn't so, equal morality. So is England immoral then? Do you think that that's a wrong. I mean, if they're maybe, marrying off 16 year old girls to old, much older men, then yes, I would say that's wrong because they have not developed enough so to be able to weigh the gravity of that decision. Even more so, people are autonomous. And who's making that decision? Is it the girl making that decision or is it her father that's marrying her off? 
Like, no, we're well, not going to go back to fucking biblical era, okay? Thankfully, the Muslims haven't taken over. We're not going to do that kind of mean, bullshit. Whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. What do you mean the Muslims have I wish the Muslims can take over, man. Excuse me? I wish... Oh, Muslim, man. If you actually look at the statistics with Sharia law and crime... And, uh, oh, wait, you're, Western, you're Muslim? Oh, yes. Are you in the UK? Yes. Oh, shit. Are you part of the Muslim Why? rape gang? Are you part of the Muslim rape gangs over there? Uh, so so we're resorting to racism now. <laughs> it's not racism. I'm making fun of you for upholding a fucking stereotype. When we have the people that consistently uh, talk about how Islam has depicted, what was it, Prophet Muhammad marrying, was it a nine-year-old girl? Peace be upon him. Peace be upon him. Was she yes. a nine-year-old girl at the time? Uh, what, when they got married? Yes. And when did they have sex? Uh, uh, so, hey, what's your language? Uh, they got married at six years old and they consummated the marriage at nine. So he married some a six-year-old and consummated the marriage at age nine. Do you think that that's wrong? In today's day and age, or in, uh, back, back in the day. So back in the day, it was okay. Why? Why, why? why was it okay back in the day, but not now? Um, because back in the day, people used to mature faster because there was no so social media or technology. <sighs> What? Be Wait, people mature faster now more. because of social media. It's not the other way around. And also, I want to call you out on the fact that you just told me I was being racist when you came on here and argued that racism doesn't exist. <laughs> I was just joking. I was joking. Okay, dude. So <laughs> now, we now we have an understanding here. So we have, you're a Muslim who thinks it's okay that you're a parent fucking scumbag prophet married a goddamn yo, six-year-old. Yo, yo, Okay. Listen, listen, be respectful, be respectful. If you're not no, I'm not going to be respectful, okay? No, no peace be upon him, okay? Death be upon him. Wow, Fuck that loser, wow. okay? Anyone that marries wow. a six-year-old and then has sex with a nine-year-old child is a scumbag, in my opinion. I don't care if they're a prophet you... or not. That's irrelevant to so me. The... So you're a Muslim so... who follows a prophet who rapes children, and so now you're over here arguing that it's okay for a four-year-old okay, to let fuck me, a 16-year-old child. You've lost what, it, my friend. Language? What, what's your language, right? So let me ask you a question. I'm not, what? I've said nothing. No, you, you're disrespecting my prophet, right? So let me ask you a question. If you go over to a third world country today and there is a, a man who married a nine-year-old, would you think that's, that's wrong? They live in the desert, they're mentally developed. Do you think that's wrong? Today, Can you then, say it one more time, please? I missed that. Okay, so if you go over to a third world country, right? Maybe people who live in the desert who have no social media, they have no technology, Right, and someone marries a nine-year-old there. Let's say he's thirty, forty. Do you think that's wrong? Yes. What do you think has what? What's the uniqueness here with social media? Social media has made people mature faster. It's not the other yeah. way around. Look at the kids nowadays playing Fortnite. Wait, You're talking about a, a nine-year-old girl in the desert. What? Yes. yes, she has not fully developed either. Like, it's. Do you think I that know. like the desert people living in the desert? Uh, mature faster than people living in Western countries? What are you talking about? Her mental uh, uh, development is still under and behind as well. You don't know that. You don't know that. Yes, we do. I we know. do know that. We know the stages of puberty. We know the general idea as to how and when people develop. If she is nine years old, living in the desert, she is not developed. We just read that for most girls, puberty begins at age nine. Yeah, and that's who your prophet married. Your prophet had sex with somebody at that age. How is that okay? Let me ask you a question. If the prophet, peace be upon him, um, is what you think he is, why would he wait three years for him to consummate the, consummate the marriage if he was what you think he is? If your prophet, hell be, a, uh, hell be upon him, decided to yeah. marry a six-year-old and then have sex with a nine-year-old, why in the world do you think that that's okay? Sounds like you're making justifications no, you, for child yeah, rape. No, you're not, you're, not, you're not answering my question, right? So if someone's a pedo, why, why would they wait three years? Does that make sense to you? I didn't say he was a pedo necessarily. He's a child rapist. That's, what's that? Someone what who rapes a say? child. You know what you're trying to say, right? So stop playing stupid. No, I'm not. I'm not. A child rapist is just that. Somebody who rapes a child. That is what your prophet, hell be upon him, did. So you're not, you're not answering my question. You're running away from the question right so why would someone wait three years I, answer the question i don't know and it has nothing to do know. it's irrelevant to my argument because whether he waited three years or not he was a child rapist that's what he did he raped a child okay let me tell you since you because don't know, a right? wait wait wait, so wait hold on wait 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 hold on 
I'm going to hang up on you in a minute because this is giving me a headache. But another question now. So do you think then that the girl, the nine-year-old girl, was able to consciously consent? Do you think it wasn't rape? Yes, it was not rape. Then why did you argue a minute ago that the 13-year-old couldn't consent because she wouldn't consciously be able to consent? Because we live in 2022, almost 2023, and because of technology, our, our brains have okay. shr shrink, shrunk. Yeah, no, you and your prophet, <laughs> hell be no, upon him, can go and fuck yourself, Allah. okay? You're a creepy Allah. fucking... Allah. No, 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 you're creepy as hell. You come on here and tell me I'm female-minded. Ends with you defending child rape. Let it, let it be known. Mm -hmm. We have the, the conversation that started with, Hunter, you're female-minded, you know, to actually child rape is okay so long as it's my magical prophet that did it. Well, Go fuck crazy. yourself, you're beta. You're a beta, you're dude. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, okay? And stay away from any playgrounds. <laughs> what the fuck was wrong with that guy? I'm such a beta that I think child rape is wrong. <laughs> like, unironically, that's what just happened. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Holy shit. Real alphas rape kids. That's pretty much his fucking bullshit right there. Oh, man. I'm new. Is it always this crazy? Yeah, actually it is. I feel like he was failing really bad to distinguish between the 16-year-old and the 13-year-old. Then he said, actually, the 9-year-old could consciously consent because it was an earlier time. Like, what? Wouldn't it be the other way around? <laughs> Oh, jeez. Holy shit. Okay. Nice. It's been a while since I've gotten to shit on Islam. <laughs> that was fun.